Imagine two cosmic titans, extremely dense, spiraling toward each other in a deadly dance until they finally collide. What happens at that instant? A colossal flash illuminates the universe. Gravitational waves ripple through space-time, and rare elements are forged in the heart of this explosion. This event, known as a kilonova, is not just a visual spectacle. It's one of the most extreme and fundamental processes behind the formation of materials like gold, platinum, and other heavy metals that spread their influence across the galaxy. But here's the detail that few people realize. Without these violent collisions, many essential chemical elements simply wouldn't exist. It was only recently that we confirmed the existence of kilonovas, thanks to the detection of gravitational waves, something Einstein predicted over 100 years ago. Now we can finally better understand how these events shape the universe and what happens in the final moments before the merger. So if you think the cosmos has already revealed all its secrets, think again, because before we can grasp the true power of a kilonova, we need to take a step back and uncover how neutron stars form and what causes some of them to collide in such a cataclysmic way. But after all, what is a kilonova? Imagine a cosmic event so intense that it can illuminate an entire galaxy. A kilonova is exactly that, an extremely bright astronomical explosion that occurs when two neutron stars collide. But hold on, don't confuse it with a supernova. While a supernova can shine billions of times brighter than our sun, a kilonova is a slightly more modest spectacle, about a thousand times brighter than a nova, but 10 to 100 times less intense than a supernova. Even so, it has the power to turn the surrounding space into a true laboratory of extreme physics. Now, why does this matter? Well, beyond being a dazzling light show in the universe, a kilonova plays a fundamental role in the creation of heavy elements like gold and platinum. Yes, that gold ring you wear may very well have been forged in the heart of one of these stellar explosions. But before we dive into this cosmic impact, we need to understand how neutron stars form and why some of them end up colliding, creating one of the most spectacular events in the universe. And how do neutron stars form? When a massive star, somewhere between 10 and 25 times the mass of the sun, reaches the end of its life, it doesn't simply fade away like a candle. Instead, a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova occurs. This explosion blasts the star's outer layers into space, leaving behind an incredibly dense core. If this core isn't massive enough to collapse into a black hole, it becomes a neutron star, one of the most extreme and bizarre objects in the universe. To put things into perspective, a neutron star can have more mass than the sun, but be compressed into a sphere only about 20 kilometers in diameter. In other words, imagine shrinking something the size of our sun until it's smaller than a city. This makes gravity there absolutely crushing, so intense that a tiny fragment of a neutron star would weigh more than an entire mountain on Earth. But what if I told you that many of these stars don't just wander alone through the universe? Some are born in binary systems, orbiting each other in a cosmic dance that, over time, can lead to an even more spectacular event. But why do neutron stars collide? This happens because not all neutron stars roam the cosmos alone. Many are born in pairs, forming binary systems where two stars orbit each other. At first, this dance seems stable, but in the long run, gravity starts to take its toll. These stars gradually lose energy by emitting gravitational waves, tiny ripples in the very fabric of space-time. And here's the fascinating part. This energy loss causes their orbit to shrink more and more until, inevitably, they collide. This process can take millions or even billions of years. But when it finally happens, well, we witness one of the most violent events in the universe. The collision unleashes absurd amounts of energy, triggering gamma ray bursts and scattering rare elements across the cosmos, gold, platinum, and other heavy metals. This type of event is one of the main mechanisms responsible for distributing these elements throughout the universe, completely reshaping the composition of the region where it occurs. But what happens in the final moments when these stars finally collide? This leads us to one of the most extreme and fascinating processes in astronomy, something we'll explore a little further ahead. So, what happens when neutron stars collide? 
When two neutron stars approach their final impact, what unfolds is simply mind-blowing. In the last moments before the merger, they are spinning around each other thousands of times per second, forming an incredibly energetic system. This frantic rotation generates gravitational waves so intense that they can be detected from millions of light years away. But the real spectacle happens at the moment of collision. At the instant of impact, tons of matter are ejected into space at incredible speeds, creating a ring-shaped structure, or if you prefer, a massive donut of highly radioactive stellar material. This ejection releases an absurd amount of energy, triggering a powerful burst of gamma rays that races across the universe at unimaginable speed. This phenomenon doesn't just light up the cosmos, it also gives rise to rare elements through a process called rapid neutron capture, RIRR process, which transforms ordinary matter into precious metals. And what remains after the collision? After the violent impact between two neutron stars, this big question arises. Well, it all depends on the total mass resulting from the merger. If the newly formed object is relatively light, which to be fair, still means at least twice the mass of the sun, it may continue to exist as an extremely massive neutron star. But that doesn't mean it will remain stable for long. In some cases, this newborn star can become a magnetar, a special type of neutron star with an absurdly strong magnetic field trillions of times more powerful than Earth's. If that happens, the newly formed magnetar may shine intensely and emit violent bursts of radiation. However, in most cases, such a massive neutron star cannot sustain itself and collapses into a black hole within seconds, minutes, or at most, a few hours. Now, if the mass exceeds the critical threshold, known as the tolman oppenheimer volkoff TOV limit, gravity simply wins the battle. Nothing can stop the collapse and a black hole is born at the heart of the former collision. And this is where things get even more interesting because these events don't just create black holes. They also send a powerful signal across the cosmos, waves that distort the very fabric of space-time. So, when two neutron stars collide, the destruction isn't limited to just the impact site. This event generates something even more astonishing, gravitational waves. These waves are literally ripples in the very fabric of space-time, spreading across the universe at the speed of light. To understand this better, imagine throwing a stone into a calm lake. The ripples that form on the water spread outward in all directions, right? Now replace the lake with space-time and the stone with the merger of two neutron stars. That's exactly what happens. The existence of these waves was predicted by Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity but we were only able to detect them very recently. In 2015, the LIGO Observatory captured these ripples for the first time, confirming a black hole merger event. Then in 2017, something even more extraordinary happened. For the first time, a kilonova was detected both through its light signals and its gravitational waves, proving that these events are real and can be studied directly. But detecting these waves is no easy task. Observatories like LIGO and Virgo must measure microscopic variations, so tiny that they are smaller than a proton. Even so, these signals have revolutionized science, allowing astronomers to see the universe in an entirely new way. And it was precisely this technology that helped identify the first confirmed kilonova in history. Detecting a kilonova is no easy task. After all, we're talking about a cosmic event that happens millions or even billions of light years away. In the past, all astronomers could do was wait for a strange flash to appear in the sky and try to analyze it before it vanished. But that changed with the arrival of gravitational wave detectors like L, I, G, O, and Virgo. The first hint of something truly special appeared in 2008 with a mysterious burst of gamma rays called GRB080503. At the time, scientists suspected it might be a kilonova, but they lacked the data to confirm it. Then in 2017, a discovery changed everything. The merger of two neutron stars was observed in the galaxy NGC4993, about 140 million light years from Earth. This event not only produced a visible flash across multiple wavelengths, but was also detected through its gravitational waves, proving beyond a doubt that kilonovas are real. This breakthrough opened a new chapter in astronomy. 
Now, instead of relying solely on optical telescopes, scientists can listen to the universe through gravitational waves. This means that events like neutron star mergers can be detected with much greater precision, unveiling secrets that were once completely beyond our reach. If a collision between two neutron stars can forge precious metals, release gravitational waves, and even create black holes, what else does the universe have in store for us? The truth is, we are only beginning to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Each new observation gives us another piece of this gigantic puzzle, and kilonovas are just one of the many phenomena that challenge everything we thought we knew about space. But if star mergers can teach us so much about the origin of elements and the structure of the universe, imagine what could happen if we were inside a black hole without even realizing it. That's right. This is a real possibility that raises even more mind-bending questions. If you want to explore this idea and find out whether our reality could be inside a gravitational collapse, check out the previous video. Are we inside a black hole? Understand this possibility. And of course, if you want to keep exploring the mysteries of the universe, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. After all, there's still so much more to discover.